It's so crazy. My life is so crazy. Oh, it's so crazy. They thought, oh, be with me. Oh, man, bro. When you grow up <clears throat> in an artificial, superficial ass world. Full of people that's been taught to tune out their conscience and gratify their flesh by any means necessary. <laughs> like, literally, that's literally the society. That's, that's what we're living in. That's the world that we're living in. You can compare that to this world, okay? That's the world that we're living in, all right? But all while I was growing up in this superficial, artificial reality, I was a real one. Therefore, people hated me, bro. Like, when I explain this to, like, a small group of people or, you know, one or two people, it doesn't matter, bro. Every single time when I try to explain my life, like, they act like I'm either exaggerating or I'm just complaining. Like, you know, like I'm, like I'm not being real about what I'm saying, <laughs> you know? And, that, and that's annoying, bro. That, that, that is so annoying. I have been gaslighted all my freaking life, bro. And discounted, like, set aside, you know, but I was set aside by the most high. So, you know, um, other people did it to me too, but the most high did it for a purpose, okay? I have a purpose with the most high. I didn't know that. I came to find that out later. Okay, I didn't have a purpose with this world. All right, this world, this world hated me. Okay, I, from the get. All right, I, like I came out the womb in opposition to this world. Okay, <laughs> like it's absolutely insane. Like, bro, and my family will tell you that. Okay, in their own roundabout ways. Okay, because they will call it what what they feel like it is in their mind. Okay, they, they, they feel like it was rebellion. Okay, like my mom. My mom said I was very rebellious. My dad said I was very stubborn. Um, and, and also, uh, that I went against the grain. Like, my dad was like, anytime we wanted McDonald's, you wanted Burger King. You know, like, <laughs> anytime everybody in the whole car would agree to have McDonald's, I wanted Burger King. Like, and he said that was every single time. I always had to disagree. <laughs> like, I always had to pick something different than the whole group. Like, I could never, like, be conformed. Like, this is when I was a child. I don't even remember this, okay? <laughs> so, my family is the ones that uh, validate these things, okay? They don't know that they do, but they do. And then, see, they don't see the bigger picture. They don't see the reason why I rebelled. They don't see the reason why I went against the grain, why I didn't conform. Well, like, because I was here to transform, okay? I was here to lead, all right? I was not here to follow. So, and it's like, bro, people act like that I'm arrogant. They act like I'm arrogant because I know what I'm here to do, okay? Just because I'm awake to my purpose and know what I'm here to do and know all the ins and outs of what I just explained to you, that's because of divine inspiration. It ain't because I, 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 I set myself up above people or I think I'm better than people or any of that, okay? 
I don't consider myself better than nobody. I'm just different, okay? I am different, and I love you. I'm here to help you, you know? I know people tired of hearing me say that, bro. That's what was just in my spirit. Like, you know, keep saying it, my child. People, people don't want to believe it. They don't want to believe that you are a real one. They don't want to believe that you're from me. You know, they don't want, they, they, they can't see you, my child. They can't see you. They've been blinded by materialism and freaking vanity and, you know, all this superficial crap of this world, you know. So I have pity upon you because no matter how horrible it looks like my circumstances are, um, I woke up today with the breath of life, okay. It's the 28th. And that's three days since, you know, the payment declined on my internet. And I still happen to have internet. So this, this is blessings, bro. Like, I, I praise the Most High. And so, you know, I understand that all my trials and tribulations, everything that I have to go through... It's not going to compare to the blessings and the glory and honor that the Father is going to bestow upon me. See, that's the only time that I care about blessings and honor and freaking glory, okay? Because I'm giving all the glory to the Most High. But the Most High is going to glorify His people, okay? That's what you don't understand. When we're going to shine like the stars in the firmament, okay? And that's coming very soon, people, because we have been lied to from the time of our birth, okay? Before then, and we've been lied to for freaking centuries, okay? The worst of the heathen got their chance to um, do what they did, okay? And they did. It to the fullest extent. <clears throat> but everything that they were doing has been recorded. Okay? All their deeds, all their actions have been recorded. Not only by their own conscience, but by all the angelic hosts that were assigned to record. Okay? Um, all the angelic hosts that was assigned to record the sun... The moon and the stars is going to testify against you as you hung us in trees. You know, everything that you did over here on this land in the fourth part of the earth, when you came over here, your forefathers did some heinous, atrocious things that you don't want to hear about. You don't want, you don't want us to mention these things. You want us to be silent. You want us to remain silent on these things. But we're living in a time of the revealing. And all of these things must be revealed. Okay? Um, I pity you. I pity you who look your nose down upon me and those like me. I pity you those who are holding on to your money as if that's going to save you. I can still talk like this, not knowing when the hell my internet's going to be cut. You know, because I don't depend upon the internet. <laughs> I don't depend upon money, okay? I depend upon the living power, all right? And I'm grateful to the living power with whatever he gives to me. I know my father is all good. You know, I'm sick and tired of the blasphemies against my maker. Okay? He is not both good and evil. Is not even a male or female, so we can't even really be using the term he. Okay? Like, I just do that to, you know, because it's easier, you know, to just... Talk about the Most High, you know, giving him a persona, you know, so that people can understand. But at the same time, I want to let you know that the entity, the power, the eternal power of love and life, 
uh, cannot be contained and nor confined into a small ass box or any kind of box. It don't matter what size box, okay? But some of you people want to try to put them into a small ass box as if, bruh, as if you got some control over the living power. Like you have got some nerve, okay? <laughs> like, bro, especially you people that's like, this book is his word. Like, the, the Bible, you want to regulate him to a, one book. You want to, and a book that heathens compile. The worst of them is that. Like, bro, I'm just flowing by way of the Spirit, okay? I'm just flowing by way of the Spirit. And and I'm just telling you, bro, you people, you, you are so pompous. In your attitude, you're so freaking arrogant, but yet you're the first one to call me arrogant. I'm like, wow, bro. Because you project your reality. That that's that's what you use. You utilize a mirror, okay? This is what you colonizers, alright? And I don't mean it in a derogatory term. I don't know what other term to use because y'all so damn sensitive. You know? Like, oh my God, I love you, but I'm going to keep it real with you, okay? I'm going to keep it 100% real with you. Y'all act like you so damn sensitive. You get so butthurt when we mention your wickedness. But yet, you're so puffed up in your pride. And your arrogance. This your land. You love your country. You're so patriotic. But yet at the same time you get your feelings hurt so quickly. When we uncover your wickedness. And the wickedness and the atrocities of your forefathers. You don't want to talk about that. You want us to be silent on that. But in order for us to heal, in order for things to be righted, because right now everything's been upside down and backward, okay? You've had your time, time, and half the time, the Gentiles, the worst of the heathen, has only had a half time, all right? And then Satan was released at the uh, half a half time, all right? You people think you get all the time in the world? You think you can continue this against us? You think you can continue to hold on to our land and our resources with your arrogance? You refuse to change your heart. You refuse to humble yourself before the eyes of your maker, the one that gave you the breath of life every single day when you wake up. The only thing on your mind is materialism and money. Like, bro, you have been deceived, but yet you want to look your nose down on me. Like, as if the things I say is complete foolishness. You know, well, it would be considered foolishness in a world that's built upon artificiality and superficiality and freaking um, fake-ass money, fake-ass fiat currency, and all it is. It's fake! Bro, because in real reality, nobody has the right to put a value upon anything on this earth. Because they did not create this earth. They are only on the earth sharing the earth. Okay? But they are sharing the earth with the original seed of this earth. That has been awakened. Okay? Here. In the land of our captivity. Alright? And he is brought back to remembrance who we are. And now they have opposition. 
And now that they have opposition, they got to run and hide. It's time for them to hide. Because, bro, they ain't going to be able to stop us. They can't silence us. They can't stop us. All right? The angelic host is all around us. Okay? We have divine protection. There is nothing that they can do against us. Okay? So, they know their time is up. You're just the one in ignorance. You're just the one that's in blind deception. And you're refusing to humble yourself to listen to one that you've been taught is a nigga. That's the absolute truth. That's the realness of it. See, I ain't had the time to tune in to my bro, Dane Calloway, bro. I, I, I miss his videos, but I have not had time. It's like time is speeding so super fast. And I have so many downloads that has been flooded to me. And there's no way that I even had time to keep up with all of it. Although I recorded all of it. But it takes time to compile these videos, bro. And I am several, several months behind in compiling videos for audios that I've been given. Bro, the Father gave me enough already to keep me busy probably for the next year. Okay? Like, oh my God. And yet, I'm still getting more and more and more. I'm recording right now, am I not, on the 28th? And all of this that's on my plate, as it is, when I get out of this tub, I'm going to be finishing the video, They Created Carbon Copy Robots, but I'm a glitch in their system. And I really am, bro. But see... I've been hated all my life because Satan wanted to freaking try to force me to conform. You know, and those that are of Satan. All the agents of Satan. You know, think the matrix. You know, all of these people that's able to be accessed to freaking, like, try to reprove me and force me to freaking be subservient and bow down to this system. And, you know, the tough love. You know, quote, tough love by my family, you know, um, forced to work these damn jobs, bro, and even when I worked them, tough love by my family to not help me when I'm in tight situations, you know, barely have enough to supply my freaking pacifiers to get me through, bro, I hate this world, I've always hated this world, but people... Like, especially Christians. You know, you're so happy-go-lucky. But you don't understand. You don't understand you're under a delusion, okay? You're under a strong delusion, all right? Because Christianity was spread over here to this land by way of the sword. It was extremely wicked what they did. Okay? As they were raping us, they were telling us to say, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. I love Jesus. Jesus loves you. I love Jesus. Say it. Say it. This is the type of shit they were doing to us when they were with us. They were saying these blasphemous things and they would force us to plead the blood of Jesus. They would force us to plead these wicked things. They, they freaking ingrained this wickedness into our psyche. Okay? They beat this shit into us. Okay? They forced their Christianity upon us. And all of you people over here that are Christians, you have no earthly idea what you have joined yourself to. They were literally raping us, forcing us to freaking say these things, bro. They were forcing us to call out to the God that they said is supposed to save us. 
But we already knew the most high. See, they, they caused us to vomit up our knowledge and our information, our wisdom, and accept theirs. So my family is just happy-go-lucky. They're in fucking la-la land, acting like they're equal with these heathens. Living in their neighborhoods. And, and yes, of course their neighbors are nice to them. Because my folks is oblivious. They're oblivious to how they are on the bottom economically. They know damn well they had to fight two and three times harder than their European counterparts around them. You know, but they just suck it up as life ain't fair. Okay? Black people just taught to just, you know, go with shit and deal with it. Life ain't fair. Move on. Life ain't fair. We're strong people. And we are. No doubt about it. But at the same time, that don't mean, that don't mean bury your head in the sand and act like these things never happen. See, they don't even want to know. They don't want to know the truth. They don't want to know the real history. They have been groomed by this society to just, you know, just love. Turn the other, don't, don't matter what happened, turn the other cheek and just love. Well, how can we truly love you when you refuse to restore us? When you refuse to repair us? And in order for us to be spiritually, emotionally, and physically repaired, the truth must be revealed. No matter how much it hurts to reveal it, it must be revealed. You must know what took place in this land, in the fourth part of the earth, when your forefathers came over here to the final part of the earth. This was the final part. The beast has already been here. You've been a part of it. You have joined yourself to it. Okay? And now we're at the end. And you don't have to believe me. I don't care if you believe me. Okay? But you can clearly see. You can clearly see. I, I came across so many videos, bro, of these uh, freak storms. You know, this freak weather we've been having. You know? And these people are scared. You know, lightning is just like acting like a strobe light. You know, like it, it was non-stop lightning, non-stop lighting up the sky. It was freaking these Gentiles out, okay? It's freaking these Europeans out, all right? Uh, bro, <laughs> they know it's not normal. They know something's different, you know? The energy in the atmosphere has shifted, okay? Now, you can be in denial all you want, all right? You can act like the things the children of light has been risen up to bring out is crazy and insane and irrelevant all you want, okay? We frankly don't care. You wonder, you probably wonder, how in the hell can you still talk to us like this when you when your net can be cut at any time? Because, again, I don't depend upon the internet, and I don't depend upon people. I depend upon the most high, my maker, okay? I, I don't know what, what it's going to take for you people to realize that I'm a real one, you know? I mean, I really don't know, like... I don't, I don't get it. It's like you can't see when I put my whole life on this freaking channel. How, bro? Because you are blinded by the illusions of Satan. Okay? You're blinded by the illusions of Lucifer. And your money, your vanity, your freaking. <sighs> your clout of men, your, your freaking status. That's all race is. All race is is the status, okay? That's the, the social class, okay? Uh, this is basically classification, all right? The black classification is a nobody. It's, it's, it's null and void, basically. It's nothing. And no, we have no rights, okay? We're three-fifths of a fucking man and shit, you know? Uh, black is null and void, okay? 
Like you don't see us And then you think you Saying something benevolent You think you being nice by saying you don't see color Well you basically just told us To our face that you're racist And that you don't see us <laughs> Like You don't see us You know you don't see our color All you see is pale It's a white world right <laughs> Like I bro All my life I'm, I, when, when, when they say this to me When Y'all say this to me, you know, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to accept that. I'm going to be like, what, what do you mean you don't see us? <laughs> like, well, so that that's very racist. I told the freaking maintenance guy that, you know, when he was here. You know, this was about a year ago or so. You know, I'm going to be like, you know, and it was random as hell. Like, you know, we weren't talking nothing about race or ages out the blue. Out the blue, it was like, you know, I don't see color. Like, okay, what, you colorblind? <laughs> like, friend. He was like, no, I mean, you know, but between, you know, black and white, I, I, don't, I don't see no color. I'm like, but you, so what you saying, you don't see us? I'm like, that's kind of racist to say you don't see us, you know? <laughs> like, friend. I was not trying to antagonize, dude, but that's the way that he kind of seemed like he was taking it. He got really uncomfortable and really uneasy, you know, because I'm not going to be no get along nigga for you. You know, and this is how my family is to, around, you know, Europeans. They, they're this, they're the get alone niggas, you know. Like, and I'm, I, look, but I would say it to their face, okay. I really would. Because, bro, time's up for the deceptions and the illusions, okay? Like, the last time I, my mama and my stepdad took me to the store, bro, like, I don't even know how to explain this, you know, but it's like they live in a different world, okay? <laughs> like, in their world, everything is just peaches and cream and flowers you know, there's no wickedness. Bro, like, everybody's equal. Like, <laughs> there's... I, I just... I can't, I can't even really... Bro, it's like La La Land, okay? They live in La La Land. And so... I, I cannot, bro! I, I just cannot. They're in this, like, really... It's a luxury car. Okay, it's a luxury car. They got money. You know, they make a point to let me know that they got money. Okay? My dad. They make a point to let me know that they got money. They just ain't got money for me. Unless, you know, just randomly, you know, they want to be uh, of good heart. You know? Uh, my brother. You know, they have all exploited their money to me. You know, they've all, you know, basically... Glorified their money to me. Like, I've seen them worship their money. Okay? I've seen them worship their materialism. Okay? And flaunt it. Flaunt it in front of me. Like, as if, don't you want this? Like, no. I don't. I don't. Like, yes, it would be nice to have a freaking car. Yes, it would be nice to have a freaking home. Yes, it would be nice to not have to struggle all the freaking time. But, no! I don't want to put all my time, energy, and essence into getting what you get. No, I'd rather put my time, energy, and essence into getting what I have. Okay? And those who are obedient, that have abundance, they will sow unto me, okay? Because that's what the Father does, okay? I am the complete opposite of my family, okay? So because I don't have the type of heart that pines after money and material things, material gain and all of that, that my heart literally pines after truth, wisdom, and knowledge, I'm not the one to freaking earn income, okay? Therefore, it's validated. It's valid. The Father has validated me through the scriptures, 
okay? First, he told me in my spirit to focus on doing what he had given unto me. I don't care if people think that I'm making this up or lying about it, okay? I've come out with many videos about this. Even have videos about how I was, you know, upset about the freaking shifts drying up. And all of, that, all of this is on my channel. All of this was ordained, you know, in, in, in the perfect timing of the most high, okay? I noticed that yesterday, I'm like, Father, this is, this is, wow. You know, like, I, I could not foresee any of this, okay? Like, all I did was step by step what I was led to do. But, when I go back and I look, you know, there's 500 and... Bro, a whole bunch of videos, bro. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's a lot. Whew. Oh. I just give him all praise, honor, and glory, bro. And I would not trade what he has given to me for any amount of money. Therefore, none of you people can pay me to be silent on some things that make you uncomfortable, okay? You can just move on, all right? But if you truly want to know the Most High, you truly want to know the oracles of the living power and how to be saved, how to be delivered, then I welcome you to this channel, okay? And those of you that have abundance, you will help the servant of the Most High. I'm not the only one. But the ones that are operating in the will of the living power, being obedient, doing what they were called to do, and they're putting all their time, energy, and effort into that, yes, you're supposed to support them, okay? Those of you that have abundance, all right. Now I don't I don't say this in arrogance. I don't say this in hatred. Okay, you can see how it's coming across. I don't hate you. You know, I don't, like I don't care what you do. You know, I mean, obviously, I hope that you choose, you know, to do the right thing. But I, I ain't your maker. <laughs> you know. Um, I'm not your master, okay? I'm just a willing vessel here to do the will of my maker. And those that are obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit, when you have abundance, you will reach out. You will lend a helping hand, okay? So, that being said, bruh, shalom.